Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Nick White here. Uh, I do a tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I'm in the library, so there's a lot of people talking around me right now, but we're going to try and do one of these videos really quickly. Um, this one, this problem is called Valid, pa valid Palindrome, and uh, you'd think it's pretty easy. I've done a lot of palindrome videos. I did like linked list palindrome and stuff. Um, it is really easy. It's the same method as the other ones. You're using two pointers, which is a lot of palindrome problems. Uh, the only difference about this one is they do throw in this little trick here. Given a string, determine if it is a palindrome. And you guys know a palindrome just means uh, a word that's spelled backwards the same way as it's spelled forward. So race car would be race car backwards. So that would be a palindrome, right? Um, so the, the way we do this is we just have two pointers, one at the beginning and one at the end. And we move in words letter by letter, one going backwards through the word, one going forward through the word. And we make sure the letters are the same. So, you know, we would have this, we'd have a pointer here and a pointer here, and, you know, R and R would have to be the same, A and A would have to be the same, C and C would have to be the same, and so on. That's the method for doing it. Now, for alphanumeric characters only and ignoring cases, all we're going to have to do is basically remove all the punctuation from this string, first of all. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, you know, we're going to have this, this uh, little string. Um, you can call it whatever you want. You could call it, you know, remove or the, you know, fixed fixed string, let's call it, right? So we have this thing called fixed string. And then we're going to want to do for char c in s, uh, s. So we're going to iterate through this. Oh, no, 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 s dot two char array. I always forget that. Uh, so you do two char array, so we have this array of characters of the string s. We iterate through character by character. If, and then you use the character class, dot is digit and you pass in the character current character or character dot is um, letter I think it's letter uh, crap I think letter um, then we can do fixed string add it to our fixed string right because that's the stuff we want to look at alphanumeric alphanumeric digit or letter right so plus equals C right so that's gonna have our fixed string exactly where we want it now the only other thing we had to do was case up uh, we want to ignore case so uh, there's a built-in method in Java called to lowercase so we'll just do fixed string equals fixed string dot to lower case right uh, now we can declare our a pointer and b pointer so we'll have a pointer is equal to zero just like I said at the beginning a b pointer is equal to um, now we're going to be doing this all on fixed string now. Fixed string dot length minus one because uh, we're you know use the indices and then we'll do while a pointer is less than or equal to b pointer uh, because we're going until we get to the middle. Obviously we don't have to traverse the whole thing. That's why we use pointers because it cuts the search time down substantially. Um, and then um, all we have to do from here on out is check if fixed string dot char at a pointer is not equal fixed string dot char at b pointer then there's a problem right that's that's what I'm saying when we go through if the letters aren't the same at the beginning and the end as we move inwards then that is not a palindrome so we're gonna return false and if we make it through that whole thing we'll return true and now the only the last thing we have to do is increment our a pointer by one each time and decrement our B pointer to move inwards towards each other. And this hopefully will work first time. And it does. It works perfectly first try. Um, yeah. What it, so one more time, what do we do is we take the initial string because we're only looking at alphanumeric letters and lowercase characters. Or I guess you can make them all uppercase. But... Um, we remake the string, so our initial string is S. We go through, we only grab the letters and numbers. We throw it into our new string variable called fixed string. Then we make all the letters lowercase. Uh, you could essentially make them uppercase too. We just have to have them all one case because we do not care about case here. We're ignoring it. Um, yep, so it still works with uppercase. 
and then you have the A pointer at the beginning and the B pointer at the end. You move inwards and you make sure all the letters are the same so we can make sure it's a palindrome. And once we get to the middle, which is this case, we break out and we return true. Otherwise, we'd get a false. Uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. Just always be aware that you read the problem when you get problems, especially in interviews and stuff, because you do want to check for little cases like these, like alphanumeric and stuff like that, so that you can account for that stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and check out the other problems, because I do them all, and I'll see you guys later.